Hello. Um, I'm here with the Krusty Flatty today and what I've just started to do is to try and remove these two um, stuck bolts, broken bolts. I've heated them up, put some candle wax on them, hit them with a hammer and just tried to turn them with these and basically it didn't work. It hasn't worked rather. So I'm going to repeat that process but what I thought I'd do is just start filming so I'll, you know, get a bit of footage. Let's warm them up again. The block sucks so much heat out of it, you know, it cools off quite quick. Definitely that part inside isn't hot, is it? I've never tried this before, but I've seen it recommended to try and put that on there like that. I don't know if I should let it cool down a bit first. You know, it's a um, birthday candle. I hope you can hear me okay, I'm trying a new technique with a microphone. I'll try letting that one cool a bit for You can see some mangulation marks on there from the vice grips. I say vice grips. Much cheaper versions of vice grips. I'll let those cool for a little bit. I wanted to just show something that I've discussed on the forums but hadn't mentioned on my video with regards to this crusty flatty. If you look down in this bore, can you see the bore there is like, you know, it's like you'd expect to see, isn't it? It's decent cast iron, just a tiny little bit of, um, you know, corrosion that easily scrapes off. And, um, you know, isn't a problem. But if you look higher up the bore in this area here, now I have had a good scrape at this. Can you see that? Look, it's just crumbling. There, see, can you see that crumbling? That's not good, is it? It's like, um, Now, I've had this described in various ways, and I'm not a chemist, but it was described as like the graphite leaching from the metal. You see, it's coming out in chunks. This isn't cast iron that I'm scraping away at here, it's, it's like a de degraded version of cast iron. It's like and then eventually, you do get down to something that you'd say, well, that's yeah, that's metal, that is. 
can you see? There, look at that. Look at that. Wow, did you see that? That wasn't staged or anything. I didn't expect that. This is... That is bad, isn't it, really? How many thou deep is that? Anyway, the bottom line is that you know this is a precision bearing scraper. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this condition that I'm trying to cope with because I can see that the only way to recover this block is by linering it, if that's the right expression. Can you see that that one's all eaten away? And you can see down there, you can see like um, like a level point there as if, you know, water may have sat to that level or something and the condition is different at that point there. You can imagine, you know, this sat with water in it or something or I was wondering if it might have been because I've seen rusty boards before and they ain't been like this. I was wondering if um, somebody might have put something down the bores to try and free it off. I've had a good scrape at this. So you can kind of see, can you see it's like metal there, look. You know, I'm, I'm back to metal now virtually on this one. When I first saw this engine, and I was in the very first video, and I was looking at it, I sort of said, oh, it looks like somebody's put something on the bores, maybe some sort of protective, but it wasn't. It was this flaky grey stuff. I mean, that's terrible there, isn't it? Look at it. You know, bloody hell, it's... Well, it's just... Catastrophic, really, that is, isn't it? You couldn't, it wouldn't, you've got no chance of running using that as the bore. Reach around the camera. It's hard to tell if they're turning or slipping. That's either, maybe you can see better than me if you get right up close. Is that turning or slipping? Let me put my glasses on. I think that's actually turning. No. Yes it is. That's actually turning, isn't it? Okay, that's a good start. Tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll dose a bit of, um, you know, ATF acetone mix on it. Where's that gun?
this is what it looks like. There's the ITF, and there's the acetone. Then you have to shake it to get it mixed up like that. And I found this cap that is, you know, got a thing on it. Put a bit on the other one while I'm at it. I'm just kind of wobbling it, but favour in the anti-clockwise rotation if you, if you know what I mean I'm trying to just come a bit further each time I come but I'm also looking at I'm not scratching up all the block face with the rivets on the on the grips yeah that's quite free now in that limited arc Now the grips have come loose now. But it is moving, so that's a good start, isn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah, let, what I need to do is have a real proper look at this and work out, because I'm going to have to get some liners for this engine. Certainly that one's going to need a liner. And that one. That one looks okay. Looks okay. I'll do a proper evaluation. That one looks fine, doesn't it? You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all wrong with that. Try and get the light a bit better. Nothing at all wrong with that. And that one. So that's two that are okay. Two that need liners, two that are okay. So that's one and two are okay. Three and four need a liner. Number five. Number five. You know, number five looks good, doesn't it? Number six needs a liner. Look, it's got that big chunk there. And that area there, which actually looks more like old-fashioned corrosion rather than that horrible graphite -y sort of stuff. So that's three liners. Four liners. Look, four liners. That one's gone as well. Look, see it there. And up there. You can feel it. You can feel the taper as it comes off the bore there into that area. So that's four liners, and that one I think is okay. That'll clean up. What I've done is um, I've ordered some plus sixty pistons, so they're going to take a little while to arrive. But now I've had a good look, I can say I need four uh, liners. So I'm going to order some liners as well. These are all coming from the state, so I'm having to pay shipping and um, duty and VAT and everything. VAT is our UK tax. So those are going to take a little while to arrive. Let's try the other one. Let's try hitting it. Anyway, um, with regards to this engine, maybe a little update is in order.
That's the grips moving, isn't it? <laughs> they are a bit crap, those ones. It's hard to get them to grip because they're touching there, I think. Yeah, rubbish. Okay, I wonder if there's enough to get hold with this. Can you see that? Those things there, look. Still not convinced with this tool yet because you apply the force quite a long way offset from the quite a long way offset from the face. So you're always tending to put a that might be a better way down it, mightn't it like a tap wrench? Thing is you're tightening, 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 and you don't really know when you because it's always going, you can't sense when it's trying to break or not. It's either slipping, I can't tell actually, no I think, I think it's just digging in. I'm not sure this tool is particularly well suited to this because the stud's not long enough. No, don't like it. No, crap that is. The um, jaws are sticking out of the end of the tool by roughly the length of thread that's showing so it's um i don't think it's got a good grip on it i'm not that impressed with this tool put it away i've been doing some test bores on the otherwise scrap block and um this has been going very well actually. I started with that one there and I was miles oversized. I was miles oversized. And I then looked at the correlation between the micrometer and the um, and the, the actual bore, measured the bore. I'll, I'll do a more in depth thing but this is just a little brief preview. And I've made some clamps there. Look, can you see the clamps down at the bottom there and at the top? And there's one there, and there's another one down inside there that goes down. And this is my homemade tool. But this bore has... It's been so damp here that even that's picked up corrosion on the bore I just have to sit in for a couple of days so you would have to do it and um, oil it straight away wouldn't you it's a shame actually the bores in this engine are in much better condition than the other engine but this one here came out within about half a thou or a thou at most from what I intended so that's good with regards to this motor, there's going to be a delay while I wait 
for parts to arrive. Um, I've ordered pistons. I've actually already got a set of rings and I now need to order some liners. I also need to order some valve seat inserts so I need to do a count up of those as well. So that one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's not great, but we'll probably clean up. That one's poor. Might clean up. That one is very poor. Probably won't clean up. That one's got my socket thing in it. That one's not great, would probably clean up. <laughs> this one's got a valve stuck down it. Oh god. Alright. So I'll look at the other side. Right, start with number one then. Poor. That one's alright. That one's poor. That one's probably alright. That one's poor. That one's pretty bad. That one's poor. <laughs> Can you see the way this is going? That one's poor. <laughs> oh God! Do you know something? I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if it's worthwhile bothering. I'm surprised it needs four liners, though. I'm beginning to think it ain't worth bothering. Oh dear. Let's try a tightening motion. Let's try a hit with a hammer as well. I move that so that that piece wasn't against the block so I could get it squarer. convinced about this one at all. Okay, let's um, heat it up again. So I'm a bit at full stretch with my hoses. Oh, very good. I don't want to risk cracking anything.
that's just slipping in it. I had my original pair of ice grips ones that I had a long gun. Can you tell if that's going or not? I think it has gone a tiny bit. That stuff, look, it's separated out again already, look. about that then. And you look at that and you think, well, what was all the fuss about? You know, what was the problem there? You know, you can never see any evidence of the um, stuff going down the threads, can you? But I don't know, it must, must do something on a microscopic sort of level. Good. One out, and the other one did start to move, so let's go back to that now. That was actually loose, look now. It's worth just leaving it a couple of minutes to kind of, you know, cool off and... That's just come straight out now. Look, that's good, isn't it? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Nice little job. Another little step in the right direction. There you go. Two broken bolts out. Not difficult, but I think you can see that there is a certain amount of patience involved. And 
you know, you need to have the will to not just expect them to come flying out. So plug the boring machine in and run it for a minute just to show you. Right, this is my boring machine. It's a Buma, British made Buma machine. But it works on similar principles to, you know, all of them really. It's clamped down to the block face. It's got that cutting tool that I just showed you. And I've plugged it in. Everything's clear, so you just flick this switch to make it run. I put a new belt on it and it runs nice and smooth. There's, I've got to repair the guard. There is a guard and I've got, got to repair that. And you have to be careful because it can process its way down. So that's running now. And it does run nice and smooth and I think it I've got to watch it because the camera's not pointing where the light is. Quite. I think it it takes a good, makes a good cut. I'll just record this as a intro to the machine there, not running nicely. And I I wired all this switch up. Got these really dodgy old British plugs on there. The motor runs nice. And uh, I've put this depth stop. Thing there so when it goes to the bottom it comes down it flicks the switch like that and what it does it just winds itself down automatically it's a fantastic piece of kit and I sort of did a functional rebuild on it by putting new bearings in the in the um, in the shaft there in the head unit and I had to repair the windings on the motor as well. But other than that, it works a treat. Okay, thanks very much. There's the machine running. I hope you find this interesting, and I'll catch you on the next one. And hopefully, sometime in the future, we might get this motor running. Thanks a lot for uh, your interest. Bye.